بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم I am Professor Adam Ahmed Adam You are welcome to this lecture It is about introduction to microbiology The microbiology course The microbiology course is composed of five subcourses Bacteriology this constitutes the bulk of the course, followed by parasitology, virology, mycology, and immunology. Microbiology deals with pathogens. The pathogens are disease-causing organisms. These are organisms that cause diseases. These are microorganisms unicellular. The microorganism, the organism is composed of just a single cell. These are bacteria, protozoa, fungi, and viruses. Macroorganism, multicellular. The organism is composed of so many cells. These are worms, known as helminthes, arthropods, these are the insects with jointed appendages, venomous animals, such as snakes, scorpions, and so on. As cellular pathogens, these are prions, which are infectious proteins. Microbiology is a science of microorganisms. Microorganisms are living organisms that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. So they cannot be seen with the naked eye. The naked eye resolves objects not less than 0.2 millimeters. So they can be seen only after magnification. Bacteria have to be magnified thousand times to be seen by the light microscope. Fungi and protozoa have to be magnified from 200 to 400 times to be seen by the light microscope. But viruses have to be magnified million times to be seen by the electron microscope. The living organisms according to the type of their cells are classified into prokaryotes. The prokaryotic cell is a primitive cell and eukaryotes. The eukaryotic cell is a well-developed cell. This table compares prokaryotic cell to eukaryotic cell. The genetic material in the prokaryotic cell, single chromosome, circular double-stranded DNA in the nucleoid. There is no true nucleus because there is no nuclear membrane. The eukaryotic cell has well-developed nucleus with nuclear membrane. Also, another genetic material can be found in the prokaryotic cell known as plasmids. These are extra chromosomal DNA found in some bacteria and present in only a few of protozoa. Protozoa are unicellular parasites. Nuclear membrane absent in prokaryotic cell but present in the eukaryotic cell. The ribosomes present in both. Cytoplasmic membrane is present in both. The intracytoplasmic membrane bound organelles are absent in the prokaryotic cell but present in the eukaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cell is a cell of bacteria and archaea 
while the eukaryotic cell is a cell of higher organism. How to write the name of an organism in a scientific way? The name of an organism includes both the genus name and the species name. The initial, that is to say the first letter in the genus name is written as capital and the rest are small letters. All the letters in the species name are written as small letters. The whole name, including the genus and the species name, is either underlined, to put a line below it, or written in italic. The example is Streptococcus pyogenes, underlined, or Streptococcus pyogenes, written in italic. Uh, this account is over. I hope that it is understandable. Anna, you show all the best.